Hey, welcome to Ice Age TV, and what is the agenda this evening? Boy, the days have gotten shorter, the light, darkness, and what is Ice Age TV about tonight? Well, it's all about time, so I'm going to go ahead and get my Bronco. I'm going to set up the trail gator tonight. Sounds like it's not that radical. So I'm going to pull out my new Coyote truck. That's the official name of it. I love how easy this thing is to uh, put in, in gear. It's incredible. So yeah, I'm going to pull the Bronco out. And we're going to do the Trail Gator. So follow me along as I do the Trail Gator. All right. So let's first make sure we understand what's going on here. This is a 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. And the Raptor, I sincerely thought was a bigger vehicle than the regular Bronco. Yeah, how how ignorant. I didn't want a Raptor. I had a hot pepper red Bronco I loved, Wild Track. I want nothing to do with the uh, with the new Raptor. <laughs> I didn't, but I have one. So yeah, watch my videos if you want to hear that story. But here's the thing. Rear tailgate of the Bronco. And I did on my other Bronco, the rear Ford factory accessory tray. And this time around, I was on the Bronco 6G forum and a bunch of people there uh, kind of were weighing in and you have more options. And so for me, actually I'm going a different direction this time. I'm gonna go to the Trail Gator and I'm gonna use that for the uh, for the new rear, um, you know, what do you wanna call it? Your rear shelf, rear tray, whatever. So. Follow me along as I put this on and let's see how easy or hard it is. All right, here is the Trail Gator. That's the name of it. And the company, I can look at the box over here to tell you the company, but I'll let you know who that is before I finish up the, uh, the install. So here it is, this here, is going to end up being over here. That's the goal. And they claim you don't have to drill anything. I think. We're going to see. My other factory trail gator. Trail. My other factory uh, Ford accessory that has the tray. You have to drill out and put anchors. And it's a little more. You have to take this off. So see here. Here's drill spots and stuff. So let's do this one here and see how she plays out. All right, so I just unpackaged the uh, packaging. Pretty cool. This has like a pin connect here. And I don't know what this is all for. About, looks like he gave me some knife holders. Pretty cool. So this is what it looks like. I got the satin black. I just wanted to go, you can get this in the aluminum finish. You got wood. Yeah, I got wood. Yeah. Pretty cool. So this here mounts. Okay, watch out there. I'm showing a video on how to do things. So this here mounts to the back of this here is a nice instruction really professional very nicely uh nicely done so let's see here see the black satin finish because look i got black black but the wood's gonna be showing <laughs> right but i like that versus yeah, like you can have wood. i could have ordered it in the in the satin finish oh. okay it's a it's called something different but it'd be the bright silvery i didn't think that'd look right with the background you know no. what do you think i like what you did Right, so uh, it's a package. All right, just so you know, these are the people to go to. Go to the North Ridge 4x4 and ask them to uh, get you this item number. And uh, yeah, the kid's getting all worried. So it's NorthRidge4x4.com. And tell them you got a Bronco, and the Bronco, this this fits any rear Bronco door. So it isn't like you have to, uh, you know, there's not like it's Bronco specific per se that I know of. It's all the Broncos. All right. So now I'm going to do the installation, and I'm reading through here. So follow me along on figuring out how to do this. Brian. All right, so the first thing you're doing, so what I did is I cut the cardboard box it came in and put it on my bench so that nice mahogany 
thing isn't hidden. Probably need to take that off, actually, if I was smart. But I'm not that smart sometimes. But here's the first thing. If you're saying put your tape down, so you look here, see how the holes down here are, and right here. So it's shown to me to take this tape and cut it up and make it kind of like to a uh, parallel or squarish kind of. So follow me along on that. I got my little exacto knife to make me happy. All right, so see what I just did? Pretty simple, pretty easy. Just follow their instructions there. So I've got my foam tape here. My assumptions are it's to keep it from uh, rubbing up against the back here. That's all it's probably all about, if you know what I mean. That's what I'm thinking. So, uh, all right. All right. Now they're saying for you to measure your rear Bronco door, which I just took my tape measure here. And I measured from here, okay, to here, and I was 54 inches. It's 54 inches. Now, it's interesting. They haven't had a Bronco Raptor work on, so it's a radical difference. You see here, they're talking about 52 inches. So, but what you're trying to accomplish here is they're saying, you know, if your truck sits higher off the ground, you want to use these uh, higher holes. I mean, over here, so this is like the T hole. So I guess you just follow, you know, T, T hole, T hole, because you don't want to push this thing up. You know, basically, you don't want the rack, you don't want this thing being pushed up, because if I go to the lower holes, then it's going to raise this whole platform up higher so that you're more challenged when you're next to it, so it's higher up. So you want to go to the highest hole so it drops it down lower so you don't feel like you're having to. I'm going to reach up as high. That's my theory. I don't know. First time I ever put one in, but I think I'm right. All right. Well, don't make the mistake I just made. I just popped this off. So pull from the bottom. The bottom, the bottom clips pull out. The top clips, they slide in. So I started pulling the tops. I've already busted two of the top ones off. But with this tailgater being over this, I don't know why you would reuse this, but I have no idea at this point. But just a word of advice, pull on the bottom to pull out these clips right here, okay? So they just pull out. These, you're pulling on them, you bust them off. So we shall see. Look at my, look at my Bronco box. I'm this Bronco box. Here's so many applications for this truck. It's beyond believable. All right, now we're on to getting the anchors. So plastic piece is gone. And they're showing these red anchors. I am assuming the six red blind nuts, we should call them nuts, I guess. They're going to go inside, it looks like, these areas here. So they said there's six or more. So I guess they go right here. I guess you're going to go right in this area here. Let's see, here's two, four, six, eight. So the black ones must be in different areas. Let's check that out. All right, so what you're saying is you you don't do the two centers. So that's what's going on. So here, two, four, six. All right, let's do that right now. All right, so we got these in. Now we have black ones. And they're saying this here, you got to center these up like an inch and an eighth from the right. So this is the bottom one. So if you see that, just kind of push it in. You can kind of move it around, I think. Let me do that, a little more research on it before I get too far in that. But red one, just snap in. Try to keep them center the hole as best as possible. So uh, black are next down the bottom. And they're saying it's crucial that you have these things lined up. So it lines up with that plate. All right, so this one here, it's really interesting. This one here, there's a little bracket. There's a little something you can see as part of the mold of the tailgate. So you can only go so far and it stops. So you're supposed to hit that, and that's about an inch and an eighth. This one here, I'm not real sure of. I guess it's about an inch and an eighth as well. So I'll just take my tape measure and measure that out about an inch and an eighth. And so they're kind of proportional there. That's what you're saying, about an inch and an eighth on each side. Oh, okay. Take that back. So this side, inch and an eighth. Okay. This side all the way over. Okay, it's supposed to be all the way over. So that's how you should look right now. 
All right, so now, next thing we're going to do, start setting studs in the uh, two top center on the door. And they're right here. You can just tell how funky they are. So I'm going to put those in right now. So, saying you put that on. Boy, that's tight, huh? I'm about to get my, my uh, ratchet out. Eh, not too bad, actually. I can kind of get it going. Yeah, yeah, I need to get a wrench. All right, I got these on, but you definitely want like a speed gun. Number nine millimeter, that's huge to get this started. And already you can kind of see, you know, I could be off a little bit. <laughs> so, but this is so tight now, there's no way that's moving. So, might have to get creative, but we'll see what happens. You know, one thing I did is I left these nuts on to just kind of tighten it down. Now you gotta take them off. Just so you know, because that'll be your, that'll be your, uh, and I just dropped one which is down there. Thank goodness it didn't go down there, right? Oh. All right, what I'm doing now, I just set this up here, put one nut on, and I'm trying to see if these holes are lining up before I get too much further into this. That's gonna be the challenging part here, so uh, follow me along here. But you just, you take off the wood uh, board out from behind this thing to kind of get it mounted up. And it's real simple. I mean, just take one nut, and I haven't taken the sticky tape off, because I first want to make sure my holes are lined up, and I'm gonna try to see if I can get the screws to start taking before I get too much further in. All right, now what I've done, I've gone in and I've kind of checked each uh, space here. And if you look here, I would use this top. See all these little circles? I would kind of use those to position this a little bit more. So I think I have to kind of go up a little bit and I'll just use those holes to different spots to get up more level. But I just made sure the holes kind of line up. All right, follow me along here, coming along. All right, so now I feel pretty good about where we're going with this. So I took the sticky, you know, it's funny. Okay, so that's good. That's good to know. So it's only one side sticky. That was a concern I had at first. So this is smooth and doesn't stick. So I was thinking, wow, if you have to pull out that protective tape and it's sticky, it's like, oh, that's great. Kind of stick and be fighting it. So uh, that's good news. All right, so now I'm ready to put it back on. Wow, Skirt, making progress. So this really d did go pretty well. I tried to stay on the line right here, so I just took those holes and to stay within reason. I mean, it may be off a little bit, but for me, I'm not really uh, too worried about that because you have these holes here in the plastic parts. You know, so for overall, very happy with the way it looks. I really like the black. To me, the black, the black. Now you don't have to worry about this this plastic right here you don't reuse it so if you you ruin it like i did i mean not really to a degree but so you don't need this just so you know accessory ready so it kind of is known to be thrown away but now we put little grommets on this here it says these little rubber grommets right here see that you just go over here like this apparently and do that let me just kind of wrap it up but so far really good you know and just, just gotta kind of finagle the screws a little bit here and there, but overall, I'm really impressed so far. I'm really liking it. All right, now we're putting the magnet up here. So a little confusing, kind of, because the instructions kind of show different from what I'm doing. But I'm gonna stay on path what I'm doing. It doesn't make any sense why you want to take this bar. And be like the uh, the main force. So I'm going to leave these nuts on. Then I'm going to put this bar over this here. And then I'm going to use these nuts to screw down. Then this here slides over this piece. So just follow me along here. Alright, this is pretty cool. I'm already using this little work table. This is so great. I really like that. And make sure you keep this bar kind of straight here. Try to keep everything as straight as possible. And I know... If you want to be really nitpicky and you want to try to get this, like right now, this is definitely off by maybe a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. Okay, so this is off a little bit. But here's the thing. When you park your vehicle, you're telling me you're going to have your vehicle parked 
perfectly on a flat surface. So I don't think, I think you're kidding yourself to think that if you have to get this perfectly level with this right here, all right, well, you have to be in a perfectly flat spot of your vehicle for it not to be angled a little bit. And it has trays inside for things not to fall off. And, you know, if you're kind of down, this vehicle is kind of going like this way a little bit, then you're, what are you going to do about that? I mean, things are going to roll off. So, uh, all right, so now this is the, the magnets. This has magnets built on it, so it's pretty cool. You slide this over this here, the opposite way, okay? See how it's clipping on? So now you got a magnetized surface to hang your tools or cooking utensils or whatever's metal to metal. So that's a great idea. So I'm gonna take apart all the plastic here and just check it out. All right, I just put the little rubber grommets on, which kind of makes sense here. And there's another little thing here going on, which I gotta kind of figure that out here in a second. But so far, really cool, really liking this. So I'm really, really impressed so far with the quality. And yeah, this thing's definitely just really anchored in here and just really nice. Really good job. All right, coming down the home stretch. This is pretty cool. This little plastic thing, a little confusing when you put it on, but look how I did this. This just slides in through that ring, so it makes it see a lot of pressure. What's cool about it is it helps you open these up. Right now, this is a little tight going in. That's not bad, actually, so it did pretty good. Actually, better than I thought. Got my fingerprints all over. Clean that up. Let's put the wood in and check her out. So, see, I guess what the whole idea is, you can take this. See here? See that? Pops it. That pops it. You don't have to use that, but it's pretty cool, actually, because it goes pretty far back. Probably, who knows, but uh, yeah, it just flipped around. That's funny. So, anyways, let's get the wood in as I play with my thing here. See there? Nice. So, it's pretty cool. See here, you like magnetize things here. I think it's really, it's a really good idea. Pretty smart. Eight. All right. This is really nice. I am really liking this. Look at that. Look at that finish. Both sides are same color. So, now I just take my little bad boy thing here pop that pop that it comes down i want to slide out my tray here see that look at that at least sturdy doesn't hit this area here see look there funny let's go over here you can reverse it look at that you reverse it over here yeah, if you really want to get creative you could get two pieces of wood and you could have really this could really expand out so you can have both sides. Wouldn't that be so cool? So now you'd have a really huge working space area. Just get another piece of wood. You could probably finish it close. And, you know, it's kind of something you think about that. I'm surprised they didn't even maybe think that through. You could have had maybe a piece of wood here that could slide out and then slide in. That's so cool. I'm really, really impressed with the product. And for me... I think you should go to the uh, the website for the people that sold this to me, which I showed you that earlier. It's Northridge 4x4. And go there. Really great people. Knowledgeable people there. They're huge off-road enthusiasts, so they really know their products. I mean, I'm not lying. I called them, and we talked about a lot of things, and uh, just really nice people. So I can't emphasize enough. Go to Northridge 4x4 to buy this product, and they've got great pricing, and they, they follow through, and... They got this stuff really quick. So I really can hope that this helps other Bronco owners, you know, Jeep owners, anybody out there that's an outdoor enthusiast. This here now, just you know, you just push back up. Let's see. Oh, I didn't have my wood all there. So let's see if I know how to do this right. So you got to kind of get it just about right because that's really tight so that they can, uh, you can get as much room and slam it in. And what's really cool is, so it is really tight. It's not going to rattle around. So it's the Trail Gator. There's different companies out there selling stuff, but I've had the Ford accessory one, and I just didn't like it. And you had to do drilling into the, the car and the back end, and so I just think this is a really great product. So I just hope this video, figure out how to install a Trail Gator on your Ford Bronco, and uh, it's just not hard at all. Just got to be a little patient. Having the speed, definitely a plus. The right tools is great. 9 millimeter socket, Phillips head screwdriver. Phillips head screw gun and you're good to go so, and look forward to uh, more videos and more how to's as time goes on and more car adventures god bless and have a safe night
Hey, just one more thing. See here, this is so cool about this magnetic surface. If you truly work off the back of your truck, I do. I work out of my truck a lot. So you just see, look at this here. Isn't that so cool? I mean, that's so great. Take your screwdriver. You know, maybe you're worried about losing one of your little, you know, things here. You, know, you lose these things. Just really neat. And you can put all your tools down here. So really great. Good job. That's it.